In this episode, we will be discussing fall sports, student-led conferences, wrestling intramurals, and the book fair. Grizzly TV starts right now. Hey Grizzlies! Welcome back to another episode of GTV. I'm Delaney Taylor. And I'm Ashton Oakenquist. Yikes, he needs some practice. Well, good thing Layla's here to give us a recap of all the fall sports seasons. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Layla Divide and today we're going to be recapping fall sports. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Meredith Berry and I'm an 8th grader on the girls volleyball team. I think it went good, we played good, especially since a lot of our girls were playing in new positions. My favorite part of the season was getting the nickname Hands of Steel. I think just more practice always makes you better and like since we were all in different positions just more practice. Hi, my name is Anaya Brown and I was on the volleyball team for 8th grade. I think the season went really well. We all worked together really, really good. My favorite part of the seasons were the tournaments and how we all participated and split up and went to the tournaments. What could have gone better was a little more like bonding. We all bonded really well, so I think if we would have like, you know, all of us would have talked a little more like outside of the volleyball, we all would have been a better team. Hi, I'm Molly McDonald. I'm in 8th grade and I was on the girls cross country team. I think the season went really good. We had amazing runners and we did a really good job. My favorite part of the season was of course hanging out with all my cross country friends, running the courses again and hanging out with Miss Russell. What could have gone better was us staying in a group and getting up as a pack together and getting our times better, but we did really good. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aiden. I'm in seventh grade. I was on the boys cross country team. I think the season went pretty good. I think we could do a bit better. My favorite part of the season was definitely getting to know all the runners and all the people on our team. Could have definitely ran a little bit better than I did. Ran a little bit faster. Hi, I'm Gibson. I'm in eighth grade and I'm playing on the football team. I think the season went good because we had a pretty good year. I think the season went good, uh, we did really good. Uh, especially the B team, B team, we had, I guess the favorite part of the season was probably my first touchdown against Delta. The thing that could have gone better would probably have been our defense, our defense could have probably done a little bit better, also our offense could have done a little bit better. Good job Grizzlies on an amazing season. Signing off from GTV, I'm Layla Divine, now back to you in the studio. conferences? No. What's that? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Well, geez, you don't have to be rude. You're literally so, so rude to me all the time. You're, you're so never mean. nice to me and you're, you're a bully. So Girl, knock it off and listen to Zoe. Hey, girls, ladies. I'm Zoe Nicholson. And today I'm going to show you the basics of student-led conferences. Let's go check it out. Whoosh! Step one, grab your folder out of your advisory bin. Step two, walk through your classes. Step three, talk to your parents about your classes. Let's go to some teachers to get some advice about student-led conferences. What is some advice for sixth graders for student-led conferences? My advice would be, when your parents ask, be brutally honest with them how it's going. Be nice to your parents. What is some advice for seventh grade students for student-led conferences? Uh, tell your parents to actually show up. I think the most important thing is to be honest and truthful with your parents that, about like your progress and everything because that's kind of what the... Don't cuss. <laughs> yes. That as well. Um, thank you, Mr. Leg. What is some advice for the students for student like conferences? Make sure you take your parents to all of your classes because they care about everything that you're learning in school. Um, and not only is this a conference for you to know what, their, what your grade is, but for them to meet your teachers, understand what you're learning in class, and to make sure that you are on top of everything that's going on. So just make sure you go to all your classes, introduce your parents, and say hi to your teachers. What is some advice for eighth grade students for student-like conferences? 
Um, my advice is to come to student-led conferences with your parents and of course when you're there to be um, honest so like if there's anything you're struggling with or there's things that you're really successful at in that class um, to make sure that you're honest about those things and it's just a great time to if you need extra help from the teacher um, or from your parents for that matter um, to let them know. Thanks teachers! Now we know the basics of student line conferences. Now signing off from GTV, I'm Zoe Nicholson. Now back to you in the studio. Um, take it away, Kathleen. Whoa! Let's leave this to the wrestlers. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Katherine Gilpin, and today we'll be covering wrestling intramurals. Let's go check it out. My name is Corbin. My name is Liam Taylor. My name is Jameson Lackey. Oh, my name is Greg. I joined Wrestling Intramurals because I've wrestled for three years and I'd like to continue wrestling. I wanted to join Wrestling Intramurals because I've been wrestling for seven years. Wrestling Intramurals is a fun thing to do because, you know, gets you a nice cut, gives you the abs, you know. You gotta show off a little bit sometimes. Because I like to bully the kids that don't know how to wrestle. Uh, my favorite part is uh, tackling people. My favorite part of wrestling in reels is wrestling around with other people. My favorite part of wrestling is uh, you get to throw some kids around and you saw it around, have some fun, you know? Um, pinning kids. Thanks, guys. Signing off from GTV, I'm Katherine Gilpin. Now back to Ashlyn and Delaney in the studio. Thanks, Katherine. Ugh, I really need a new book for Mrs. Russell's class. Yeah, I had it last year, so I know how you feel. Where can I get a new book ASAP? The book fair. Duh. I'm so tired of this book. I need a new one. Hey, Grizzlies, I'm Marianne Jackson. Let's go get the scoop on the book fair. The Scholastic Book Fair starts Monday, October 21st and ends Monday, October 28th. Let's go talk to Ms. Jones to find more about the book fair. Hi, Grizzlies. The book fair is coming up next week. It is open Monday, the 21st of October through the next Monday, the 28th of October. There are going to be lots of great books, including some new books by some favorite authors like Alan Gratz and Raina Telgemeier. I think I am most excited about the new Alan Gratz book, Allies. The book fair was amazing. I love my new book. I'm Ariana Jackson, now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ariana. It is now time for this week's weekly announcements. Hey, Grizzlies, I'm Brianna Monterosa, and today I'm going to be covering your announcements. Here are the dates for the book fair. Hi, guys. Don't forget to stop by the book fair. It's happening right now. sure you are waiting outside for the buses on Thursday and Friday so you don't catch a cold or in worst cases freeze there's a wrestling tournament at Blue Springs High School on the 30th make sure to be there remember Halloween's on the 31st Yeah.